This is Luke Radowski reporting for We Are Change.org. Here we're at Mark Ruffalo, actor, director, but most importantly, a very smart, intelligent, caring person. Mark, how are you? I'm great. Thanks for talking to me. I want to thank you because a lot of our viewers, let me just leave it on you, a lot of our viewers were extremely happy when you came out for Not Eleven Truth. And I know there's a lot of people who try to discredit it with crazy theories, but if I could ask you, what kind of information have you found to be credible and important for people to understand? Um... Was it the commission being set up to fail, committed? Well, it's, you know, the, the, the commission never seemed to actually uh, really do anything before or after, you know, before the buildings were struck and afterwards. Um, uh, there just seems to be more questions left unanswered than, uh, than anything else. And, you know... I don't want to jump into any conclusions, but I also don't think it's ever been given its due diligence, considering that it, it is the uh, largest crime ever committed on uh, U.S. soil. That will be affecting us for the next hundred years, and now we have you know, all these victims' family members who uh, were very happy that you came out. The questions were never answered, and I also know many responders who were there, and their stories doesn't conflict. I mean, Building 7 wasn't even in there. I mean, yeah, yeah, Building 7 is kind of the... Uh, you know, a lot of people don't even know about that, and uh, you know, I, I I shudder to think. I, you know, it's 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 hard to believe. You know, some of the the ideas or conspiracy ideas that people have it just just seems so com completely extreme. But um, you know, like yeah, like I said, there just hasn't. There's more questions than, than answers, and uh, I know we were in a, in a big hurry to move on from that, but. Um, you know, the world has changed because of it, and um, it's just uh, not in a good way. And we've mi militarized, and we've uh, lost many of our civil liberties, and um, more people die from uh, from smoking cigarettes every year, <laughs> and, and, and uh, <laughs> we give that a lot more. We don't... We give this a lot more play than that, you know? And it's affecting us for the next hundred years, and we haven't even looked into it. We don't even know the all these unanswered questions, and the government says, you're just a nutball. Yeah. And, you know, there are some people who try to, you know, make us look crazy, but what I stand by is the family members. Questions were never answered. The first responders, yeah. the evidence. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing that we all need to support. Honestly, those people are heroes. Uh, they've been treated very badly. Um, they, you know, the fact that it's taken this long to uh, for them to, to get some of the help that they need is a, is a complete travesty and um, you know uh, moving on from here I just hope that we're able to uh, support these people in the same way that they support us and sacrifice for them in the way that they sacrificed for us. Uh, two more questions. You're also a very important activist in fracking. That's very important to you. How can people get involved and get more educated on the issue since it's affecting a lot of people more and more? Um, well, there's a lot of organizations. I'd say uh, frackaction.com is, is a good place to, to go. Um, for New York City, uh, N, uh, New York H2O, NYH2O, um, those are the most active ones in, in, uh, in this region. And um, uh, mostly just go out and educate yourself, make yourself aware, and, and, and talk to other people. You know, um, this thing's happening throughout the United States. It's completely unregulated. It's, uh, it's causing people cancer, birth defects, uh, neurological disorders, and, um, and uh, what I think it's, it's time for us, our, our need for uh, energy, cheap energy, has become so uh, frantic and so extreme that we're really doing uh, extraction in, the, in more and more risky ways and so I'd like to see uh, I'd like to see us move away from black energy altogether and hurting a lot of people now you're a great guy I mean you use your celebrity actually to help people and to do good things and what has happened is you've been put on uh, the you know a terrorist watch list by you know by Homeland Security I mean what does that say about the state of the Union right now I think that says more about our media I, I don't know that I'm on it's been sort of uh, has hasn't been vetted that that press uh, release and uh, when someone did actually look it up it, I don't seem to be on the Homeland Security that I certainly don't get uh, bothered when I try to travel um, but I do think it has a chilling effect on other people coming out and they hear that an actor uh, who's who's hosting screenings of a movie Gasland being put on Pennsylvania's Homeland Security watch list or being monitored um, it has a chilling effect on people and uh, you know, 
our democracy right now, it's sort of set up in a way where they want to, the people in power want people to feel like they can't affect change, that this system doesn't work. And the more uh, hopeless people are and the more um, downtrodden they are, the, the, the more, the, the more uh, cynical they are, the more pliable they are, and the more uh, they can be abused. And so, you know, an actor who comes out to speak against, you know, destroying uh, one of our beautiful natural resources, our water, is being put on a, a terror watch list, has a very chilling effect to people. One last question, are you surprised this is happening under Obama? I am surprised it's happening under Obama. Um, you know, he promised so much. Uh, at the same time, he, he's done a lot, you know, but he's continued a lot of, uh, you know, the Bush-Cheney, uh, you know, even Cheney came out yesterday and was praising Obama for adopting so many of their policies on, on terror. Um, you know, it's not going to happen from above. Uh, we are the change that we're waiting for, you know. That's why I'm Mike protest. Yes, so we are, I, know, I love that. We, we are the change that we're waiting for. It's not going to happen from above. Anything worth a damn that's ever happened on behalf of the people has always come up from the people and forced itself onto the power above. And, that, and that's the way it always is and it's the way it's always going to be. And I hope it's, this is a moment. You know, I, I see all these things as a, as, a, as a real opportunity for people to get involved in the, and to uh, learn that they have a voice and to actually um, use that voice to institute change. Have no fear and only have love in your heart and we could do anything and you're a perfect example.